This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, Wendy Williams was talking about Chris Brown and her Hot Topic segment. And here's what she had to say about his alleged drug allegations. And I think there are a lot of people in his camp enjoying this viralization. And his mother, who he watched allegedly get beat up by his stepdad when he was growing up, you know, apparently hasn't gained her strength or her respect from him. I mean, he, I guess, has nobody in his life. You know, there has to be somebody you're scared of, and that has to do nothing with money. It has to do with, like, oh, I don't want to shame the family's name, or I got to pull it together just for this. And I think all the positive influences are gone, and this is not the positive influences' fault, because when you are an, a drug addict, the only one that can help you is you. All right. She got really choked up while she was talking well, about Chris Brown. She would know. She was a, a, a drug right. addict before. So yeah, she Wendy's had her know. issues with drugs. Issues. Now, this uh, video was posted on the Shade Room, and Chris Brown actually left a comment. He put, wow, Wendy. So I don't know. If that's that it? Was a, yeah, that's all he wrote. You're not even going to deny nothing? You just, it's just, <laughs> just, just wow. wow, Wendy? Wow. And she's like, wow, how you know all that information? All right, now, Soulja Boy my house tap? versus Chris Brown. Soldier Boy was on stage performing in Minneapolis, and he had these things to say about the fight not happening with Chris Brown anymore. He said, okay, Soldier Boy, I'm going to sign the contract. I'm going to fight you. Now, hold on, you might worry about Chris Brown back down at the fight like the little bitch, man. <laughs> If Donald Trump was the man, all them Negroes, I wouldn't give a damn. I'm going to be honest with you. Chris Brown responded. He left a comment on this video also. He said, it was on Baller Alert. He said, no need for me to disrespect this person any further. He's hyped up as well as the issue. The opportunity to embarrass and do harm to him isn't even funny anymore. I backed out of the public fight because the money location and the fact that the real promoters were spooked by gang members who wanted to profit off of it. No charity and no point in going through with it. I set up a private gym and he didn't show up, so there is nothing more to say. It's not going to happen, and we really know the truth here love maybe we can do a nice fair swap maybe it's a nice muslim person out there who can't get back in the country who we can trade for soldier boy all right azalea banks is a wanted woman she was a no show in court she was supposed to be in court yesterday she didn't come so now there's a bench warrant for her arrest now this is i know where she at and she's in paris <laughs> fashion week yep i see it on instagram everybody knows <laughs> <laughs> They're saying that she told her attorney to let the judge know, hey, if you need me to be in court, I could be there later or whatever. And the judge is like, nope. We see you all over Instagram in Paris in a denim thong, Azalea. We know exactly where Azalea Banks at. Mm-hmm. Now, this is all because of the 2015 arrest that she had for biting a nightclub bouncer, a woman, in the breast. Wow. All right. What I, do you even tell the judge when the judge says you didn't show up to court, but then you're like, oh, well, I was busy. And then they can look on Instagram and see you was in Paris with the denim thong on. Yeah, that thong looked crazy. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.